Hello everyone, this is Alcabear the Analyst, and today I'll be talking to Tennessee Titans. And will Ryan Tannehill poor performance hurt the Tennessee Titans? But this is Alcabear the Analyst. All right, so let me get to it. Um, last year Tennessee Titans was almost a Super Bowl team. And um, they, they got the full package. They got an A.J. Brown, who I believe is playing at a high level. They got Derrick Henry, who's playing at a high level. They got a pretty good defense. But my question mark is always on Ryan Tannehill. Is he good enough to get him over the hump? Yes. Last year in the playoffs, they beat the Ravens. Not because of Ryan Tannehill versus Lamar Jackson. It was more a Derrick Henry takeover. Next game, Patriots. It was the defense who made clutch plays and also a Derrick Henry takeover. Now it was it got to a point it became Ryan Tannehill versus Patrick Mahomes the next game. And obviously Patrick Mahomes won that battle, went on to win the Super Bowl. Yes, Tennessee Titan, they can be a great team. They could be a great team. But it's always Ryan Tannehill who I always question. And not all the time, the best quarterback is going to beat the, I guess, lesser quarterback. Look what the Eagles did against Tom Brady. Tom Brady is obviously better than Nick Foles, but Nick Foles just made enough plays that game to win the game. And that's what happened. And Tom Brady didn't. But. Obviously, you guys, every GM, every coach who they, who they would, would rather have. But at the time, he played the better game. And I just always wonder, can you get that out of Ryan Tannehill? Can you? And I'm asking these questions because they look like a Super Bowl team. But when they play those Super Bowl caliber teams, they fall short because Ryan Tannehill can't get it done. Always come up with this thing with game managers versus game changers. So game managers, they do enough to win games, but when big, when it's time to make a big play, they just can't do it. And game game changers is obviously like a Patrick Mahomes. I even put Lamar Jackson, even though he's been struggling. I won't put Carson Wentz, quarterbacks that have been struggling. But when they get rolling, they can change the game. They can do it negatively and they can do it positively whereas the game manager he just does enough don't throw the ball a lot like Kirk Cousins hand the ball off to Dalvin Cook and they get it done Ryan Tannehill hand the ball off to Derrick Henry and just get it done so um yeah a lot of people are going to hit me with stats like these first five six games he's playing spectacular but he's been struggling I'm going to go over these three games, and it's something that's consistently going down. So overall, this season, I can't argue. Ryan Tannehill's having a one, one of the best seasons of his career. Uh, yards, 1,981 yards, 19 touchdowns, three picks, QBR 77.3. So 17th in the league in yards, fifth in touchdowns. Fourth in pace, meaning like he's at the bottom of the bottom. And then ninth, um, 77.3 in the QBR rate. So overall, he's having a spectacular season. Let me go to these last three games. It's these last three games. So against Pittsburgh, they lost 27-24, which was a game where it came down to quarterback play. Can Ryan Tannehill make the plays? They fell short, 27-24, um, threw for 18-30, so he, he threw the ball a lot, 220 yards. It's not bad, two touchdowns, no picks. You'll consider that a good game. His QBR was below his average. It was at a 75.2. You can't argue that. But one thing I always compare with game managers, which I believe Ryan Tannehill is, he threw the ball way too much. If he threw the ball over like 25 times, most likely they're going to lose. I mean, Derrick Henry is not having the best game. 
And I probably could go over his stats. He probably wasn't having the best game. But when it comes down to it, Ryan Tannehill versus Big Ben, Ryan Tannehill couldn't get it done. The next game that shocked me that they lost was to the Cincinnati Bengals, 31-20. He was 18-30 again. Remember what I said? Usually when game managers throw the ball over 25 times, they usually lose 233 yards, two touchdowns, one pick, and his QBR was 47.2. So from a scale of 0 to 100, 50 being average, declined to 47.2. Lost that game, and now, once again, game managers, when they throw the ball too many times, they lose the game. Next game, Chicago won the game 24-17. He was 10 to 21. See, 10 to 21, under 25. Won the game, 158 yards. Um, two touchdowns, no picks, but he was sacked three times. His QBR dropped again to 44.5. And what QBR means, just to measure everything. He's been struggling, let's be honest. He's been struggling. It's just that when you look at Tennessee, they look like a Super Bowl, you know, Super Bowl contending team. But sometimes it comes down to quarterback play. Buffalo Bills got Josh Allen. A Josh Allen versus a Ryan Tannehill. I'm putting my money on Josh Allen. Um, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, Kansas City versus Tennessee Titans. Patrick Mahomes versus Ryan Tannehill. I'm going Patrick Mahomes again. It's just that. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes is better than him. Obviously, Josh Allen is better than him. But can he come up with a game or a game plan to beat these guys? Or can he make enough plays to beat these guys? I don't think so. I don't think so. Even the team they play tonight, the Colts, the team they need to be, they got two quarterbacks, Phillip Rivers and also Ryan Tannehill, two game managers. Phillip Rivers can actually go off and get one off on you. Just his latter career, he's been a, kind of a game manager. I, I believe Ryan Tannehill get this one, but that's the problem with both of those teams. And then also, if you put them up against the Steelers, Big Ben versus Ryan Tannehill. I'm going Big Ben. He's been making big plays forever. And I just don't think the Tennessee Titans can beat them top tier teams, and that's can that can definitely block them from going into the Super Bowl. I believe they could beat the Ravens, especially how Lamar Jackson been struggling. He's another one. The run not going, there's nothing he can do. Lamar Jackson is almost in that game manager position, maybe or maybe not. But um. Was poor performance hurt the Tennessee Titans? Yes, he has to step it up. He has to. If not, they'd be in the same position. Maybe they knock off a team or two. They get there and uh, maybe they got to play a Buffalo. Maybe they got to play Kansas City. Maybe they got to play a Steelers. Ryan Tannehill just can't get it done because the objective will be stop Derrick Henry. You stop Derrick Henry, then what? And you got a star wide receiver in A.J. Brown. So it's not like they don't have no receivers or no defense. Ryan Tannehill just can't get it done, man. Just can't get it done. What do you think? And how do you feel? How do you feel about Ryan Tannehill? Is he actually a good quarterback and can get it done for Tennessee? But this is El Cabrera, the analyst. Goose.